Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the previous slide, we discussed about double entry system, and also we said the receiving aspect is called debit, and the giving aspect is called credit. In this topic, we want to explain that how we can identify the debit as well as how we can identify the credit. And this is called rules of accounting. Also, we can call rules of debit and, and credit. In order to identify rules of debit and credit, there are basically approaches or methods that how you can understand that whether the account become debit or whether the account become credit or how many accounts are debit or how many accounts are credit. Previous slide, we said the receiving aspect and giving aspect. But if there are, or if there is a complicated example, so how can you identify whether an account become debit or whether an account become credit? There are basically two approaches. How many approaches? Two approaches are there in order to identify debit and credit. The first approach is called American approach. Also, we can call it modern approach. And the second method is called British approach or traditional method approach. Also, we can call it golden rules of accounting or British approach. So these are the different names for what? For British approach. So two approaches are there in order to identify rules of debit and credit. Right? First of all, let us go for American approach. What is American approach? According to this approach, all accounts are divided into five types. And into how many types? In the five categories or types for the purpose of recording of business transaction. According to American approach, which is developed by Americans, the whole accounts which we have in the business are divided into five types. So the whole types of accounts, if you have thousand, thousand different accounts in the business, all of them are basically categorized into five types. Into how many types? Five types. What are those accounts? These are the two. These are those accounts. Asset accounts, number one. Liability accounts then capital accounts, then loss and expenses account, and finally the revenue account. So the whole accounts are divided into five. Now the question is that how can you identify the rules of debit and credit? For this one, there's a small table that we can identify. So here you have to record types of accounts. How many accounts? One, two, three, four, five. Those five which we shown you in the previous video, previous slide. Out of these five accounts, we have two groups. Group one, and also this can be called as group two, right? So this is group one, and this is basically group two. Group two, right? Group one and group two. Rules for group one, assets, loss, and expenses. If this group, it means group of assets and loss and expenses. If this group increase, if increase, we can call this one as debit. But on the other side, if this account or if this group decrease, on that case, we can call it with credit. For example, you have four computers in your business and you go in the market and purchase one more. So number of computer increase, computer is an asset. So in this case, we can say the account of computer become what? Become, become debit. But on the other side, for example, you have four computers, but you go in the market and sell one of them, one of, one of that. So, Previously, you had four computers, and now you have three computers. The number of computers decrease, so that computer is also an asset. On that case, we can say the account of computer is credited. So if increase, it is debit. If decrease, it is credit. The same way is for, for expenses. If amount of expenses increase, we can call it debit. If amount of expenses decrease, we can call it credit. See, sometimes the people may ask you that, how can you define debit? So this is definition of debit, or this is definition of credit. You can say debit means increase in asset, or debit means increase in loss and expenses. And what is credit? Credit means decrease in asset and loss and expenses. You can define it this way. Second group, second group, these are in the second group, capital, liabilities, revenue, and gain. <clears throat> this group is basically opposite of the group one. If this group increase in a set of debit, they become what? They become credit. You can call it credit. And on the other side, if these three types of accounts, if they decrease, on that case, we can call it what? We can call it debit, right? So this is just a standard or the custom that we have selected or accounting professions has accept, accepted this one. If there is an increase in capital, liability, and revenue, we should call it credit. If there is a decrease, we should call it what? Debit. So these two methods are just opposite of, these two groups are just opposite of each other, right? Group one, if increase debit, but group two, if increase, it is credited. 
Group one, if decrease debit, credit, but group two, if decrease become what? Become debit. So this is called American approach. Once again, under American approach, all accounts are divided into five. How you can I can identify whether an account is debit or credit. If your account is asset, if increase become debit, if decrease become credit. Let us give an example for capital. For example, there is five lakh capital in the business. Owner of the business introduce additional two lakh in the business in the form of capital. So definitely in this case, capital increase. If capital increase, capital account become what? Become credit, right? So this was American approach.